So, what is paper quilling? It's this. It's creating all these really uh, cool spirally quills to create your design, and that's how we're gonna create our cover. So you can see above me, that's one example on how I can do my snowflake. After I show you in this tutorial how to cut out the paper strips, options for that anyway, I'm gonna show you a screen tutorial on how to figure out how you might wanna quilt your design. Um, but first, because you're working from home, if you're live in the classroom, I can provide you with paper uh, quills, paper strips that are different colors. If you're working from home and you have colored paper, you can certainly use that. I'm assuming most of us just have white. So I'm gonna show you three different methods on how you can cut your paper strips. One is the easiest. You already have lined paper. Maybe it's yellow, maybe it's white. And just to take scissors and cut as carefully as you can on those lines. And I'm just gonna cut that first one away. So this would be one method, and I know it seems time consuming, but think about how relaxing it is to just sit and cut on the line. Okay, so that's one super quick, easy example. You know your strips are all the same thickness because the lines are already on, already on the page. Now, some of you, at least my advanced students, may have a cutting mat, a ruler, and an X-Acto knife. Um, this is probably how I would use do it because I know I'm quicker that way. Uh, but the first thing I would do, let me zoom out just a little bit, if you want to use this method, is I want to pull my paper in half because then I can cut two at a time. And if I have tape, which I do, I'm going to take my corners down. And I'm using the lines on my cutting mat. Again, this is more geared towards my advanced students. I don't expect any of you to be using an X-Acto knife. Um, if you don't have experience, especially uh, with my safety rules. So um, this is more for the advanced because they've taken my class and they know how to not cut their fingers. So in this case, if I were to cut on these lines, this is every half inch, those quills are gonna be pretty thick. So I'm gonna use these little lines at the very top and the bottom of my cutting mat. And I'm going to, let me see. I believe these are maybe quarter inch. So just holding this, again, reviewing, I'm right-handed, so my left hand is holding the ruler, and I'm just cutting through that way. So that is another way to cut your paper strips. And in this case, it's two at a time. So in this case, I can get thinner. Um, the last way I discovered by doing some two, uh, research is uh, using a paper shredder. Now, I didn't own a paper shredder before this, so I went on to Amazon and I bought this for 12 bucks. Now, you certainly don't have to buy it. I just wanted to try it. It's actually a lot of fun. So, what this does is it's got this little hand crank, and because it's small, let me get a piece of paper. Here we go. I'll take that again. Because it's smaller, this little, whoop, this paper won't fit. So I'm going to fold my computer paper into thirds so it'll fit through. And then I can slice through three pieces of paper at a time. So now when I put this in here, I just crank it. I don't know why that's so fun. Check it out. Now I have all my paper quills. The next tutorial is how to quill it. But first you want to at least cut a decent amount of strips.